So we're gonna check out the monster shop. And make him not do it, I guess. Because we're getting paid for it. Oh well. There goes another day. A merchant you've seen before sat on a rattling wooden box inside. Gazing at him, your eyes met with his as he raised his head. At that time, his depressed expression startled, uh, started to become cheerful. Almost instantly, he stood up and shouted. Waha! Sorry. <laughs> his salesman voice came back. Hey, I remember you. Come on over. This is a monster shop. We sell live monsters that were caught. Then all you have to do is finish them and get their materials. In other words, you can collect the materials you need efficiently. Just think of me as your assistant. Would you like to buy something and check it out? Oh, and just a warning, these guys are really energetic, so be careful. They'll definitely attack you right when you let go. Stay on guard. So, which one will it be? You can do the pixies, why not? I don't think it's gonna work, but let's give it a try. We'll do the pixies, why not? Because if it does work. Here are your three pixies, thanks a lot. Here we go. The merchant laid his hand on the wooden box. The rattling seemed to have come from the violent monsters inside the box. That we just bought. Yeah. As the merchant gently opened the wooden box, the pixies jumped out and suddenly attacked you. Hey, if we get a pixie wing from this, like two birds from the stone. Yeah, right? it ain't gonna happen. Wait for <laughs> it. It's not just me being, you know, down about it. No. Aww. Been here, down there. Oh, look at the little acrobatics. Oh, hey, they got it. Kind of like you. They got it. They got it. A, 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 an advance on us. Screw that. Well, yeah, this is because they jumped out of the box. Well, we should have been ready for it. No, we he were... warned us. Yeah, well, you know what? They're just faster. They haven't done much. Okay, whatever. Let's just whack them. Yes, ma'am. That's the way to do it. Come on. Aw, come on, Sarah. You suck. Ricardo's <laughs> like, ow. I got a paper cut. Now, now. He does have quite a number of hit points now. Yeah. Guys, come on. There we yeah, go. Yeah, really? Do I have to do all the work around here? <laughs> All right. I wonder if we get anything from it. Yeah, well, we'll see. It's pretty bad, actually. Yeah. You approached a pixie's body and tried to pluck off its wings. Ew! I am not gonna do that. Well, You're doing that, Breeze. Uh, oh, okay. But the wings were completely ruined and useless as material. Whoa! It wasn't supposed to turn out like that. Man, you gotta take it easier. What? You glared at the merchant who was trying to give lame excuses. Ah, I'm just kidding. Don't fret. I'll return your. I'll refund your money. Huh. It was returned to you. Ah, darn. I thought my monster shop was going to do well. Cause nobody has a material business. I had confidence that it'd do well from now on. Okay, what do we do with this? The merchant let out a deep sigh. At that time, you heard a door. The door. Bleh, a door opened from behind you. Oh god. Uh, eyes! Eyes! An orc was acting hesitantly. Huh? What's a little square like you doing here? It's almost be my friend's Catherine's birthday. Oh, Catherine's be a, be a rot, rotting, a girl, rotting corpse. And Catherine says she be wanting a present. But I's, I's got no allowance. <laughs> That's why I wants to sell these. The orc pulled several broken swords out of his pants. No jokes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's materials. I's, oh, from his pants. Ew. Really weak, so humans tease me. So I's always get my swords broken. Many broken. <laughs> These swords be broken, ba ba When you throw them, they be fire spells. So I hear humans wants them. I wants to go to town, but there's be 
full of humans, bad humans, pigs on me. I's too scared to go to town. I's want to sell each one for 100 G. I's have five, so 500 G. Will you trade with me? Please? <laughs> the Ark was desperately pleading with teary eyes. Well, I don't know what Catherine's gonna do to him if we don't. Hmm. Okay, I'll take care of you. 500 G, right? Why don't you hand those swords to me? I'll buy them. The Ark started bawling as soon as the merchant said he would buy them. Huh? Meanies? Eyes! 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 Eyes really happy! <laughs> <laughs> the Ark, dripping with tears, threw himself into the merchant's arms. Yuck. Yeah. Hey, okay, just don't wipe your snot on my clothes. Too late. The merchant forcibly separated himself from the clinging orc. What's your name? Eyes, Eyes Francois. Wow, what a name. My, my mother named me. It's, it's be a beautiful name. No human name be as beautiful. Eyes, <laughs> well, other than Catherine, I suppose. Eyes, mm. don't look it right now, but one day Eyes will be as attractive as... Oh, that's my name. Francois, huh? Here's your 500 G. The merchant handed him the money, whatever. <laughs> and the orc was also handed the merchant the swords he was holding. Hooray, successful trade. Th thanks. He's not wearing pants. Yeah, I know. No problem. Just bring me whatever you want to sell anytime. He, he's be a good human. I, the, ha, happy. The orc carefully put away the 500G into his pocket. He then marched out of the room. We should, we should fight him. No. <laughs> if we were evil, we would just like find him. <laughs> Flying. Hmm. All right, I've decided. I've closed down the monster shop. Finally got it. I owe it to that orc. I've got to close this place down and get ready for my next business. It'll be, oh, I'll be opening up another shop soon. So come by then. Catch you laters. So we kind of did our quest. The merchant left in a good mood. Well, he started a new business. That's not really what the girlfriend wanted. Lydia's quest has been completed. <laughs> we stopped the monster shop. I guess. Okay. Oh well. Let's 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 leave. And now for a pass. Oh, who's this guy? I don't know. A well-groomed knight stood in front of the door. He placed his hand on his sword and looked this way. Hmm. Only noblemen are allowed in this room. Those who can overcome the chief of the queen's guards tests shall be allowed to go in. Do you have the courage to try the test? No, we're cowards. Run away. No, Jappas isn't here. Hmm. <laughs> Burn. Then show me your courage. Are you prepared? He's kind of cute. No, he's too serious. Try defeating these monsters that Sir Ledua has created. It's all his fault. He creates these beasts. Remember which ones? It's oh. his fault. I've never forgotten that. Really? Yeah, it's disgusting. Jeez. Just saying. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah! Yo! I'm a man! Look at that! Done! Bam! Done like dinner! I like chicken! What? <laughs> I'm sorry. We cut that out if you want. <laughs> Knowing Jaffis, he'll want to leave it in. Yeah, I know. I shall firmly acknowledge your strength! I would say. Your entrance is now granted. Be just be sure to mind your manners. We we shared a look. We were, we're not it was like what? <laughs> we're more like. Tuh. All right, let's get our let's get our pass so we can actually have challenging monsters again. A sorcerer dressed in a robe and an elegant lady uh, in a white dress were discussing something. They stopped talking at the sound of the opening door and looked this way. There was a surprised look on the sorcerer's face. He's creepy. Your? The sorcerer whispered and shook his head with closed eyes. 
the look of surprise was gone. Instead, he, shared, he stared this way with a sharp look in his eyes. Oh, look at his fist. I am Ledua Almze. I am the leader of Her Majesty's Shield, the Queen's Guards, and I shall introduce you to the ruler of Duhan, Queen Otelier. On your knees, adventurers. Ledua spoke with a clear, dominant voice. I tried. It was a voice used to giving orders. For sure. We should probably get on our knees because we're nice. You obediently got on your knees. You moved swiftly as if your body already knew what to do. Roma's attitude gave a good impression to comrades with a good or neutral attribute. That's why I did it. We're not, we're not evil, so... Your Majesty, do you wish to have a few words with this person? The Queen nodded in response to Ledua, then turned her cold eyes towards you. All who come to the labyrinth will be under Duhan's supervision. Presently, the soldiers of Duhan are examining the labyrinth, but it is difficult to tell if there has been any progress. We cannot perform a full investigation with the soldiers that we have left. Many have perished during the flash. Recently, a huge number of the undead are emerging. Thus, the number of soldiers have decreased even more. The Queen spoke indifferently. We cannot allow any more soldiers to perish. Thus, we are allowing you adventurers to go into the labyrinth. Do not forget where you stand. You are to assist in this investigation in every way possible. If you obstruct any soldiers, we shall punish you accordingly. If you have any conflicting ideas, it would be best for you to leave now. All you could do is nod in approval at the Queen's statements, as if they were read from a script. I'm kind of reading from a script currently, but you know. Very well. In return for your cooperation, I shall allow you to do as you wish with the treasures that you find. We will also have no involvement in any disputes you may have with other adventures. Quarrel as you wish. Ledua, give this person a pass. Certainly. Ledua pulled out a vellum for you. It looks like this is the pass. Just show this to the guard in front of the stairs leading down. You got the pass. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Before you do that, we have a job to request of you. What? The unit that is investigating the undead monsters is missing. You are ordered to find the unit. Of course, there shall be a reward, so there is no need to worry. As you nodded, Ledua twisted his lips to hold back his emotions. It appeared that he had laughed. Uh-oh. He doesn't think we're coming back. Now, you may go on. He doesn't think we're coming back. He's probably the one that raised the undead. Yeah, well, you know, whatever. You felt the glistening eyes of the Queen and Ledua follow your, st follow your every move until you stepped out of the room. Yikes. Well, how do you feel about the Queen? She's kind of like, oh, hey, it's friendly. Um, she's got issues. A little, yeah. Um, she's remarkably uncaring. I mean, I guess some of it you have to like maintain like an image so that like you can't be like, oh, my soldiers are dying. You gotta be calm in the face of like adversity, but still. Oh, look, uh, a pretty elf girl gazed at the snow falling, the sight of falling snow. Same diff. Yeah. The girl had such a calm expression, gazing at her white surroundings, looking dignified like a noble bishop communicating with God. Is that what she is, a bishop? Mm. Is it giving us hints? Maybe. Mm. As if she felt you approaching her, she turned slowly toward you and then spoke in a soft tone. Can you feel it? The sadness that surrounds this labyrinth. That is what calls the monsters to this place. Just the way the loneliness of the dead call upon the living. And the snow. The border of reality in the other world is indistinct here. As the, after the girl bowed shallowly to you, she covered her body with her cape from the cold air and walked deeper into the labyrinth. We'll see her again. Goodbye, I guess. Oh, there's a monster coming. Oh. Thanks. Mm. We'll see her again, though. No worries. I look forward to it though. I don't really remember her super well. No? 
No, I remember, like, I remember that dialogue as it started happening. I remember that, but otherwise, I don't, I don't really remember too much about her. We gotta go a ways before we see her again. Do we see her in the third level? Yeah. That's when death starts chasing us. Yeah. Ugh. Not fun. <laughs> but, but the best part about it is that, that he can move, or the Reaper. He can he move different places, you know, whatever. It's, you know. Oh, Sarah. Hey. Well, at least he missed. Hey. <laughs> no, I only do that voice when the fairy comes out. Okay. It's a nappy thing, is it? Yeah. And besides, people will be too annoyed by it. Honestly, you I'm, think? I'm perfect. I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed doing it. Yeah. I mean, vaguely amused at the same time, but annoyed. Well, <laughs> we, we don't have to keep doing it. Uh, I know that I, I had some friends who used to think that I did an amazing Navi impression. Ugh. But you do, so. Yeah. <laughs> this is the problem with doing... See, Not something to is, boast about, honestly. No, I can be really annoying if I try. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, when you put it that way, that is actually... Yeah. <laughs> what are they saying about you? <laughs> mm. I'm talented. Yeah, well, then there's Caster, so I mean, come on. Yeah. Well, hey, we've got our different talents, right? A whole oh, sweet. There yeah. we go. Nice. She actually does, like, decent damage now. Yeah. Well, she does 10 now. Um, so, that's oh, something. Nice. All right, so let's get back down there and uh, do what we gotta do, Breeze. Yeah, before we go all the way downstairs, though, on our way back, we were noticing that there was a passage that we missed, so we'll, uh, we'll skip to there. Three adventurers have set up a camp not too far away from you. They were talking loudly without any concern for their surroundings. Off palette, Ricardo. Plus thief. I'm, I guess I'm the thief. Yeah, you are. I'm, I'm the Ricardo lookalike. We've I, seen these before. Yeah. I'm pissed. How could Queen Atelier be kind? She's a brainless bitch. That's not very polite. Calm down. I'm sure she is kind. <laughs> Can't you tell by the way she rules the land? <laughs> Didn't you receive charity a few times when you were in the slums? Well, yeah, but... I understand that you didn't like her attitude earlier, but look at the town situation. We should understand that the queen is stressing out. <laughs> <laughs> but what I hate even more is that old fart, Ledua. Okay, he is. He right. treated us like trash! Are the queen's guards that great? The Queen's Guards have the highest social class of all soldiers. They are always beside the Queen to protect her from anything. She puts her full trust in them, especially because they're strong. And have allied actions. Hmm, even stronger than you? I'm no comparison. Ledua the Sorcerer has a good command of all spells and has a thorough knowledge of many things. Sophia, the priestess, is a queen's guard as well as her head servant. There isn't, there is nothing she can't cure. Culgan, the ninja, can defeat the fire dragon all alone. There's one more, a rookie of the queen's guard, but with some serious skills. Jeez, they're monsters. If they're that strong, they should be the ones to go into the labyrinth. Besides Ledoux and Colgan, the others have been missing since the Flash. That's why they're probably short-handed. Hmm, I see. We're just convenient guinea pigs for them. Dang, that pisses me off! We should just give them false information and rack up our rewards. I don't want to lose my life for your stupid mistake. The girl had not spoken a word until now. Oh, I remember her. Yeah, I figured you would. When some guys did that before, they were burned by Ledua's fire spell. They were accused of treason against the queen. Not even a pinch of ash was left. Not only do the queen's guards act as her shield, but also as her sword. They will protect the queen from anybody and will punish without mercy those who betray her. They are the queen's blade, sharp, strong, and merciless. The girl glanced at the boy thief. 
It would probably be smarter not to go against the queen. The boy thief clicked his tongue in disappointment. Okay, well, la-dee-da. There's our lesson. There you go.